Welcome, welcome. Can you hear me in the back? Yes. Yeah, good. How many of you are comfortable with WordPress? Hans? How many of you are comfortable with WordPress? That's nice. You are working people. How many of you are comfortable with WooCommerce? Nice. How many of you, last question for now, are comfortable with GitHub? Nice. So, what are we doing here today? This is me, Anastasios, and hopefully I'm going to talk to the rest of you who are not, who are not comfortable with GitHub, how to start getting involved with both WooCommerce and GitHub. And it all starts with a bedtime story. So, this is kind of an interactive talk. Who would be kind enough to say what was your favorite bedtime story as a child? Marco has his hands up. Do you like a short one? Yeah, we all saw that. Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer. Good. And Jorge, I think, has his hands up. Would you like to share your favorite bedtime story? I didn't have one. You didn't. We can change that. We can change that. So, let's see how many of you are familiar with this one. It's about a turtle and... Correct. The bunny. We're not going to say that exact story, but let's use it as a metaphor. Uh, it's moral in a more open source uh, approach. Okay, let's see. So, as the story goes, once upon a time, it all starts sometime to contribute to open source projects like WooCommerce. That was for me. If you notice the date up there, it's March 2023. You can all see that? The first lines up top. It is a, a comment on something that started even earlier than that, in 2021. Can you all see that? A bit higher? Yeah. Maybe it's a bit gray, but hopefully it's visible. Yeah, yeah I see nothing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So what we see here, it's a section of a chat in a GitHub issue. Remember I mentioned GitHub earlier? So what is that? It's a tool for people in general. It's not exclusive for programmers and developers. To share code and what we see here is actually chat so don't be scared anyone who hasn't heard of it before of this platform tool yeah um, more specifically we see two people interacting here the second lower one is me if you see the, the avatar and we are discussing about how we can actually turn an issue that's been reported here into a pull request what is that that is actually change or changes to the code itself of WooCommerce correct Second thing, the turtle, no one in the beginning, in the, uh, in the bedtime story, expected to be the winner, right? Probably, the first time we heard of it. But the moral there is always do your best. One step in front of the other, right? Um, this is a screenshot of how my first pull request for uh, WooCommerce started. Again, let's check out the date. It's about a year ago, 2023, March. Can you all see that line? It's also blue. That means that it has been edited. So as a first timer, I have no idea where I'm going. I started following the instructions I could find. More instructions were in the previous slide. So building on that. This slide, I believe it's really important because if we're not afraid to ask questions and make mistakes, we actually learn and learn a lot in the process. It's not easy for me to stand in front of you all and be recorded now, it takes some courage, but it all starts with the first step, as with every journey. That's hopefully what I'm um, influencing a bit further today to you all. Wait. Yes. So, what we see here, uh, we're following up the dates, like in the story time, okay? Uh, we started in March of 2023. Here we see it's already April, and although we see up there the, the uh, label that says merged, you'll see the purple merged icon up top. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, this is still open. This is still a discussion happening. Meaning that some person from the community, uh, the first avatar you see up, up top, was interested. Hey, when is this actually going to be implemented in the, pro uh, the project of WooCommerce to be available? And the second avatar, we see that our pinging me, like in many conversations, right? We put an ad and then the handle of someone. 
like you should do this again to me the first time huh, for this to proceed further okay and this is me saying I would happily do that but I'm clueless like right now let me figure it out <laughs> I try turning it off and on again you know the phrase so uh, let's take away the metaphor of the bedtime story and see more in actual real life what we could do, right? Let's do one thing that scares us every day. So far, I primarily focused the slides on GitHub, but there's a tool it's probably more accessible to you all about chatting and collaborating with other people around the WooCommerce project, and that is Slack. Anyone who's not familiar with Slack, no hands up. One, two, okay. So Slack is a chatting um, program software and it's used for at least the WooCommerce project uh, from over 25,000 people, primarily developers, okay. And that's a developer instance and you're free, uh, you're free to join. This is the link you can see. It will be in a further slide below if you want to take a note. It might sound scary for now, but it's not really. It's a chat uh, program. And then, uh, let's take one step at a time. This is actually uh, the second part, is copied from Automatic Script. I'm currently working for Automatic. And it's a marathon, not a sprint, but it's a race. I will try to showcase this visually. Again, the first PR I had was a little over a year ago. And this is a screenshot, a more recent one. So let's see what GitHub, uh, this is my profile on GitHub anyway, uh, shows us in a game fine way, okay? So right smack in the middle, we see that I have 29 contributions in the last year, meaning it wasn't just that one. It's just with eating, start eating, appetite opens up, right? And more opportunities appear because we start learning and learning and learning. What else do we see? Um, yeah, followers and following, whatever. And the gamification also shows us with the little tiles, hopefully you can see, some are lighter green, some are darker green. Darker green just um, showcases days that we were more active on the platform, meaning we were doing more stuff there. Imagine sending more messages yeah. in a more accessible, let's say, phrase. Uh, be prepared. Luck is where preparation meets opportunity. What do I want to say with that? Well, this screenshot hopefully showcases that. This is a screenshot from the conference. So a little over two years ago, I started uh, working for Automatic as a contractor and chance has it that when a person from the company uh, said, hey, I'm interested in joining in WordCamp Portal, I said, ah, huh, what a cool idea. I'm currently living in Spain. I would also like to go visit the WordCamp. And then I have my uh, team's boss <laughs> saying, hey, you're allowed to go there only as a speaker. So that was a challenge, and it was accepted. This is why I'm here today. Uh, this is what it showcased, that I was at the right place at the right time, but again, it wasn't just me that, you know, I'm here. Again, some resources for all of you who'd like to participate. You can, you know, start joining today. Uh, we have the Slack link that we had before, and this is the GitHub um, URL that you can join uh, and check out things. It's an open source project on WooCommerce. How many of you are familiar, because this is an English phrase, with what head fake means? Hands, if you are. Okay, cool. So head fake, sorry, head fake means that I could be looking in one direction, but actually planning to do something in another direction. Imagine playing basketball and throwing it there while I'm looking at my other opponent. Um, this talk wasn't just for you all. It was for my child, Sophia. She had this most credible. <laughs> Obrigado. Ah, não, não, não.